Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Pisces friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? All right, now I've got three piles here, past, present, and future. When we get to the future, remember that is not set in stone, and you have a choice because we were given and granted free will. All right, and also I apologize for the background. My kid's watching some guy on YouTube. So if that keeps him quiet, that keeps him quiet. So that goes to the, the credit to that goes to him, okay, not me. I just happen to be sitting here trying to get this done. Now, um, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Now, if it does not resonate, that's okay because this might not be your reading and I might not be your tarot reader, okay? But if I'm not your tarot reader, there are so many out there who are absolutely amazing. And um, if this isn't your tarot um, video, there's going to be more in the future. So maybe, you know, I pick up energies and it's general, so that's another thing. So, um,. General reading is like me throwing out a net, casting a net, and waiting to catch a bite, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, um, it's kind of the best way I can explain it. If you want a personal reading, find yourself an amazing tarot reader who's like, that you adore and love, and ask them for a personal reading. It might cost a bit, depending on who it is, but it'll be worth it because it will be customized to you and your needs. All right, and they'll be able to help you with whatever situation that you are going through. Now, let's get going on this, yeah? I've got a fourth pile. This pile here talks about the energy anywhere between past, present, and future. Now, for your, your past energy, we're going to talk about, in your first pile, we're going to talk about how you are connecting with a Sagittarius. Now, Pisces, that's balance, alchemy, and cooperation. Oh, yes. All right, so in the past energy, you've got the tower card, sudden change, destruction, and questioning conventions, all right? So, shit's kind of changed. Which is funny, because, I mean, this tower, I don't feel like it was like a negative tower. I think it was a positive tower. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes we get lessons that are positive and negative. And that's what the tower is, is it's a huge lesson um, that shakes us up. Think of like a tower. When I think of the tower card, I think of, um, I think of it as such, all right? You got um, a serving tray, right? You got, you know, that you bring food in and serve people, and then you set it on the bed and it holds everything. Well, think of one of those that you decided to build a house of cards on. You know, it's all, you got a magnificent house of cards. Someone walks along, grabs both sides of that, that, um, servant tray and shakes it up. And now you got 52 card pickup, or 54, I don't know. Anyway, that's what it is. It could be construed as a negative or a positive. It depends on what's going on with you. Um... You've got the Four of Wands, Reward, Prosperity, and Celebrations. You're celebrating something. This is why I think that that tower is not super bad. Or it was bad, but it was there for a reason. The Star card, you're dealing with ye we're, you're dealing with an Aquarius. Recognition, inspiration, and achievements, basically. Wish fulfillment. Yeah. Current energy, the high priestess. Mystery, intuition, and secrets. So here's the thing is you need to go in within yourself and focus on your intuition. Shit is going around you and no one's talking to you so you need to look within to find the answer. The magician. Deception, opportunist, or puppet master. You're manifesting something currently. Knight of Swords, you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, someone who's brave, egotistic, and lack of emotions, alright? Seven of Cups, choices, consideration, and daydreams. So, here's the thing, Pisces, that you really, really need to know about, alright? 
you have so many options around you and you need to make a decision because if you don't make a decision one will be made for you and you if it's made for you it might not be the decision or the it might not be for you does that make sense you might not like what was beset upon you so what you want to do is you make a choice that best you know fits you weighs out your, weigh out your pros and cons all right Okay, Skechers, I guess. That ad belongs to them, not me. Okay, Ten of Wands. Burdens, responsibilities, and struggle. So, in the future, you're going to be struggling with re responsibilities and burdens. You've got a hard-ass boss on your ass, and that is the Queen of Hazards. That's a Capricorn Gemini. Or not Capricorn Gemini. It's Capricorn Taurus and Virgo. I don't know why I thought Gemini. That was, it came through strong. Materialistic, confidence, and practical. Now, this lady could be a guy, too. Does that make sense? It, it's an energy card. So, what it's saying here is that... What it's saying is that, my beautiful friends, you've got a boss who who rides you. Okay? He's a hard ass. Someone who's soft and kind on the inside, but a real tight ass on the outside. Right? Like... But they're not being an asshole to you on purpose. What it is, is that they see something in you that you don't see in yourself. And that's why they're trying to rise you to the challenges. You know, see what you're capable of. You're amazing in every way possible. You've got the hanged man. Scorpio. A turning point. Accepting of a situation and self-sacrifice. Oh yes. That's really good. Well, I mean, it's good in a sense that you're giving up your time in order to do the stuff for the boss lady because you're looking for an ultimate, um, like meeting them halfway, right? Reaching a new level. Two of Cups. Harmony, balance, and compromise. So you're finally able to sit with someone that you've had issues with in the past. You're finally able to sit with them and have a decent conversation without having a manic psycho moment okay where you want to pull your hair out <laughs> and there's two suddenly that you hear the want to get psycho no you don't want to get psycho you want to chill have rest and recovery you're just you need to pamper yourself all right fourth pile the fool New journey, first steps, and hasty choices. You've got a bit of a pep in your step. There's no baggage attached to you because you are going with a new perspective. And it's reaffirmed with this, the Eight of Cups, which is moving on from troubled relationships and change. So you're going down to the next town to start over. You're saying, fuck you later, alligator. I'm out. You know? You got the Five of Swords. Defeat, bickering, and severing of ties. Yeah, you... Think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it to who you're going to say it to, alright? Because you are you are definitely severing ties here. Because it's going to be reaffirmed later. Which I feel like would be with the Ace of Swords. Do you know what I mean? So, if you don't want to ruin... You, you know, you don't want to lose this friendship over something stupid. Think about it. Okay? Think about it. You got the Hermit card... Which is Virgo energy, solitude, respite, and um, self-reliance. Oh yes, you are pampering yourself, re-energizing your Duracells, right? <laughs> because all them people are like, Pisces, Pisces, I know you can hear me. And you're like in mama mode where you're just like tuning everybody out, pampering yourself. You're like, no, not today, baby. Not today. I'm going to need a good long-ass vacation. You've got the moon card, which is your card, Pisces. Deception, secrets, and intuition. You've got to go to sleep and pay attention to your intuition. It's just like the, the high priestess card earlier, right? You aren't being told the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You need to go to sleep and find out what the fuck is going on because... You know, it's driving you nuts. You're in the dark.
pay attention to your dreams is another reason okay definitely pay attention to your dreams now if you have a question on what it means the things the symbols in your dream mean I I mean I have a whole playlist of dream meanings that I got what I did was I went on astrology.com and I found the dream meanings um, in alphabetical order is how I have it set so if you're wondering it's set that way and every day it releases a dream meaning because I made it that way so everybody would you know be enlightened daily right but if if it's if what you're dreaming is on there that's great if it's not then um, you can try Google what it is like the other day I had a weird dream that I um, I was deaf like I couldn't hear what this little girl was talking to me about and it just and it took her mom walking by and going oh that she just means that her picture is in the room and she wanted to get it and I'm like oh I spent 20 minutes trying to get this girl to talk and everything every time she talked I can hear her voice but I couldn't it wasn't it's probably because I listen to a lot of heavy heavy metal and loud music I'm going deaf in real life so <laughs> I need subtitles anyway but you get what I'm saying like I looked that up and it was like oh it's because something to do with um, turning a blind eye or a blind eye like turning your back or something to a situation or being unable to hear or understand what is going on around you so that's another reason why you need to um, pay attention to your dreams and the symbols because when we're asleep we are open okay think of it like this sleeping is like when we plug in our phone and charge it right we rebuild up our energy for the next day but while we're doing that we're very open like our phone is to our phone receives um, messages and stuff like with a wide signal but when we're open like our phones we receive sim symbols and sig you know we have a strong signal so paying attention to our intuition you know have you ever heard the term deja vu or have you ever dreamed of something happening and then in real life it happened and I once dreamed that my husband's um, mom came to me and she was crying about one of her other son's best friend's dad dying right and I was I was like why are you crying over that you know and it didn't make any sense well the next day we were riding in the car and I said has anybody died and it was not her son's best friend's dad but her cousin Wendy do you know what I mean so like it connected with me that she was mourning but it connected with me while I was sleeping it's like I dreamed about one time I I went to sleep and I was like 14 15 and I, this was during the time I had the flu really bad um, in Preston Idaho you know where they the same time they were the same town they filmed Napoleon Dynamite which I was there when they were filming it which is weird but um so I was sleeping and I dreamed that my great grandmother was hooked up on a um, life support machine and my grand or no my great grandpa was and my grandmother was dead and and I woke up and in real reality my grandpa died already so I call like I told my mom my mom called her mom and found out that her grandmother you know had had been put on machines because of I don't know pneumonia or something I don't know but you know what I mean you're getting signals and yeah they're a little bit askew but they're still on point or it's, it's what's really funny is all yesterday <laughs> we could not find our fucking wallet right and I kept thinking okay last week we went to the store I remember handing it to Cameron in the car and tell you know my husband right I told him here's the wallet you have it now you know it's in the car well all day I kept thinking okay I handed it to Cameron it's in the car and somehow it's up high but for some reason I kept skewing the up high part with being in my closet which my closet's right there I don't know if you can see it okay I kept thinking up high up high up high and so <laughs> we went over to um, we went over to his dad's because he invited us over for dinner, right? 
and I kept thinking, a pie, a pie, a pie, we're in the car, Cameron's right there, okay, 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 so I looked in the sun visor above my head, nothing, okay, so when we stopped, I reached over my husband's head, and he was like, what are you doing, and I'm like, I don't know, and I turned the visor up, and it was up high, above my husband, in the car, <laughs> You know what I mean? My intuition was very on cue, but it wasn't like, but it's also, I don't know, I think it's still Mercury retrograde, so that's kind of probably what's going on, right? All right, let's continue on. So remember, pay attention to your dreams. <laughs> it really helps. Now, uh, Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, somewhere along the line you're dealing with them. Someone who's intelligent, sharp-tongued, and unscrupulous. Someone who doesn't care that they're wearing a terry cloth bathrobe, all right? But here's the thing. Even though they're wearing that and hair curlers, they're badass. Probably an empress stepping into that. Because, you know, as an empress or an emperor, yes, you're defined by how much growth you have, right? And, like, we each, we strive for our energy to be the male to be um, emperor and the female to be empress. But that doesn't mean we can't step down from that, the, the throne and step into Queen of Swords, King of Swords, you know, and the other kings and queens, right? So you are dealing with a Seven of Swords, which is theft, sabotage, and deception. So someone's deceiving you. Someone's not telling you the secrets. That's why you're going into your dreams, and that's why you are looking deeply into your intuition, okay? Someone's pulling the wool over your head, and you don't like it. Oh, fuck, no, you don't. And you're going to be fighting with someone. Quarrel, strife, and competition. So this could be a work-related thing, or this could be a home-related thing, right? But you both are fighting over something fucking stupid. You don't think it's stupid, and they don't think it's stupid. Let's be honest. It is stupid, because here's the thing. You're fighting over there, but you're not taking into consideration that it can ruin your friendship. So maybe you need to step back and think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it to who you're going to say it to. Now, you've got the Ace of Swords here. Same thing. Think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it to who you're going to say it to because you're cutting someone off. And it, as you're cutting yourself off, in my deck, this also speaks to, it could also, because it's double-edged, it could also cut you off as well. So it's completely burning of the bridges and shutting of the doors. There's no doors opening here, Okay. Someone's really hurting you. Trials, intellect, and action. I don't see any toxicity or devil cards, so I'm assuming that you're not in a violent relationship, like super violent, so maybe like verbal, but that's about it. Like disagreements, debates, but it's not super physical. You've got the Ten of Cups, peace, contentment, and family. All right, so... While the world's going to hell, there, I don't know if you can see it, look, there's a zombie. Hey, that's the Queen of Swords, swimming to shore. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you are. You're content and happy with your family. Yes. <laughs> Three of hazards. So you're getting recognition for your hard work and learning skills along the way. Oh, hell yes. Page of Wands. Youthful, high goals, and need for growth. Mary's Leo or a Sagittarius. Now let me tell you something about this guy right here. See that high chair? That's not holding him back or anything. He can climb down from that and move mountains if he so chooses. But currently he's hungry, so that's why he's sitting there. He's not in here. <laughs> Alright, your last card here, besides the bottom of the deck, is the Ace of Wands. New tasks, motivation, and energy. The male phallic is what most tarot readers call this card. If you don't know what phallic is, it's penis. I had to Google it. But whenever you say male phallic, then I assume, oh, it's in the shape of a... <laughs> but that's just the 12-year-old 12 12 year little boy inside me saying, <laughs> that tarot reader is so dirty. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Because if I say I'm a 12-year-old girl, you won't get it. Because 12-year-old girls aren't Herbert the Perverty, right? It's all about puberty. Yeah. But that's what I'm just saying, is that, like, I find comedy and stuff like that. Anyway, not in, well, oh my god. Anyway, you know where I'm going, okay? I'm not talking about real little kids. Okay. Bottom of the deck. 
three of swords. So you're dealing with a um, third party situation. It could be that your significant other family is talking bad about you and trying to get them to move away from you or vice versa. Okay. Now Pisces, it could also mean that there really is a third party. That you are with someone who's with someone. Or they're with someone who's with someone. Does that make sense? So it could be on your side or their side. So like say you're married and you're stepping out. They're, you're married to your spouse and they're stepping out. Okay? Or, you know, don't super freak out. But, you know, this is could be all in your head. You know, you're starting to get jealous because it's jealous, heartache, and loss of a situation. Could be saying um, bye to a situation, you know, and you're having a hard time with it. It's a heartbreak. Be careful because people can really die from heart heartbreaks, you know, from a broken heart. Um, it could also mean that there is a third element to your relationship. And that could be... Porn, video games, um, alcohol, drugs, substance abuse of any kind, right? It could also mean, um, vid did I say video games? It could be money, and it could also be someone who's choosing work over you. Alright, you need a balance in this relationship. Maybe you need to sit down and find out what's going on. But because everybody is kind of like eggshell walking around you without telling you the whole truth and nothing but the truth that you're going to have to go within and find out. Maybe you'll end up having to go all investigator and snoop, which I wouldn't say that was the best cause. So um, you don't want to, I mean, ruin, it, ruin the trust by accusing your significant other of something they're not doing. Because then they're like, well, wow, you know, they're, they're always accusing me. I don't do anything. But then, then one day they're like, you know what? You're accusing me. I might as well do it and get blamed for what I am doing. So be careful with that. Now I love you. You're going to have a really great day. Yeah, you're going through some shit. Some wild shit, actually. Um, but that's the thing, is that it's going to be okay. You're just... Changes are happening around you. And you've already gone through the tower. So, I mean, yeah, you can ha go through many towers in your life. But um, if you want to leave a comment, I would love that. Alright, but if it's a personal comment, like something you don't want everybody to see, get on um, get on my YouTube channel, go to my About section, look up my name, get on Facebook Messenger, type in my name, and get a hold of me and be like, hey, this is Pisces, we need to talk. And you don't even have to apologize for getting a hold of me, we're family, okay, I'll drop what I'm doing and, and we'll discuss what's going on with you, because I have a non-judgmental ear, and we'll figure it out together, I'll bring a new perspective. Okay. Now, I love you. Thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Libra Empress. I will see you for tomorrow's Daily Horoscope or next time's Tarot, okay? Alright, I love you. Bye, my beautiful Pisces.